Hey folks, that literary lady here, and this is another five-star video review. Today's five-star video review is on The Prodigal Son by author Kimberla Lawson Roby. The book was released today, so get your copy on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, go into any bookstore, or contact uh, the author at her website. And I'll have that up here at the end of this uh, review. But again, The Prodigal Son is another Curtis Black installment from Kimberla Lawson Roby. And I have to tell you that as I was reading this book, I could not put the book down. And I know you hear me say that all the time, but I literally could not put this book down because uh, two of the characters in the book, which really are not the main characters. Actually, Dylan was probably one of the main characters in this particular storyline. But Dylan and Raquel were the two people in the story that I wanted to see go away really, really quick. Okay, I'll try to give this review without giving any spoilers. But just in case, spoiler alert. So if there's a chance that I may give out a spoiler alert, alert I suggest that you go ahead and stop this video now. At any rate, Dylan is the long lost son of Reverend Curtis Black. Curtis Black has come to the church and he has invited his son, Dylan, who's now a grown man, into his family. I'll let you read the book to find out why he's just now meeting his son and the circumstances of him actually meeting his son. But Dylan has come back into the family. Now that he's into the family, he has to contend with his brother, Matthew, who is the apple of Curtis's eye, his little sister, Curtina, who could be jealous of a little child, and his other sister. And, uh... His whole intention is to be the apple of his father's eye, be the only apple of his father's eye, even though his father has several other children, and also to gain a fortune from his father. When things don't turn out the way he wants to, he devises a plan to get back at his father. Now, I won't go any further because, again, I don't want to risk any spoiler alert. So let me go on over to Raquel. Raquel is the wife of Curtis's uh, son, oh my God, Matthew, <laughs> Matthew. And uh, as you, if you read the previous Cur Curtis Black story, you'll know that uh, Matthew's mother, uh, Charlotte, uh, called uh, Child Protective Services and said that she was abusing her child when she wasn't. She's only had the child for a year now and she doesn't want to let the child go. She won't go outside. She won't let anyone keep the child. But one day she snapped. She rejected the son. She wanted a divorce from her husband and she started acting crazy, getting drunk and things like that. And finally, Matthew, who wants to stay and works it, work it out, uh, is stabbed by Raquel. And so he realizes that he needs to get his son out of the house before Raquel does something to him. So he gets back into good graces with his parents. I'm sorry, that may be a spoiler alert. But Raquel devises a plan with someone in the family. I won't tell you who it is to try to uh, get back at Curtis Black uh, for uh, the things that he's done in the past. So... Uh, I can't say too much more without spoiling this book, but oh my goodness, I told Kimberla, I said, Kimberla, I am so sick of Dylan and Raquel. I need something to happen to these two characters. And it's a, a, something when you're reading a book and you get so caught up in the book that uh, it stresses you out, it, it raises your blood pressure. And this book actually, oh my goodness, it raised my blood pressure. Um, but it is a Christian fiction book, and, and, a, and it's a realistic Christian fiction book. And um, I can't wait for you to see what happens in the end. But uh, this book will actually have you talking to people or doing like I did, posting posts on Facebook or whatever the case may be. But um, I cannot put the book down until I was actually finished reading it. And uh, I think you'll be glad that you read this book. Many of you who know me know that I rarely give a five-star review so uh, for a fiction title, put it that way. So the fiction title has to be good in order for me to give it a, a five-star. I usually only give five-star ratings to or even recommend uh, non-fiction or leadership titles. So I recommend The Prodigal Son by Kimberla Lawson Roby. Google her, go on Amazon, go into your local bookstore, uh, read the book, 
and post a review, folks. Uh, today is the first day the book is out, and the first week is very important uh, for authors uh, as far as boosting their book sales. And no, I am not. I was not hired by Kimberla. Uh, I've never met Kimberla, although I've had interactions with her on Facebook. Never met her, and actually, I have met Kimberla in person, but it was a brief encounter at an event. But still, nonetheless, uh, I'm. I was not hired. Uh, by her or paid by her to give a good review. Uh, many of you know me, like I said, no. If I give a book a five-star rating, which is rarely that it's something that I, I highly recommend. So go out and buy the book. I'll put her website there and the Amazon links. Read the book and please post a review. We are glad that you bought the book. We want to know that you read the book and we want to know what you thought about the book. So go ahead, read the book. And give your review and go on to Kimberla's uh, Facebook fan page. Leave your comments or whatever the case may be. And I would recommend this for any author that I would give a five-star rating to. Actually, I would recommend it for any author. If you read their book, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, give them a review. Go on their Facebook fan page and uh, give them some feedback. And tell them why you liked it, why you didn't like it, in addition to the review. And kind of uh, build a rapport with that author. Well, I'm done rambling. Go out and get The Prodigal Son by Kimberla Lawson Roby. It came out today. You'll be glad you got this book, especially if you enjoy Christian fiction. I'm that literary lady, Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and this has been another five-star video review. Have a great day, folks.